Hello, I'm here to tell a little bit about how the ACE Language Institute, located near Seattle Pacific University, has been a positive impact on my life as sort of a thank you to the people at the ACE Language Institute for what they've done. Not just the staff members, but also the students who I've interacted with. You see, I was part of what at that time was called the Language Mentor Program. It's now changed names to the Cultural Partner Program, and I think I can explain a little bit of that. When, when I was doing it, it so many, well, last, actually this last spring, and the year before, and the year before, I've been doing it for several years now, and this is the first school year at SPU that I haven't actually done anything with that, because even though I graduated about over a year ago, I uh, was still active with ACE, and here's why, because the, the program set up a native speaker, such as myself, with a English language learner, and the two of us would get together and meet once a week, maybe more, and we would talk about our cultures, our interests, and news, whatever. I remember going to the library and looking at maps and talking about, you know, tell me about your country, you know, where you're from, and, you know, show me on the map, and then here's where I came from, and showing on the map. So, so that was something, and we'd do this all in English, because one of the goals of this program is to foster English in the English language learner. So it's to help build up their English, which is a, a really good thing. The other thing, though, which I think is why they changed the name, is that it was about sort of cross-cultural communication, about building bridges and friendships between cultures, between you know, speakers of different languages. And so it was about fostering an understanding of other cultures so that the people who came to the ACE Language Institute in Seattle from Saudi Arabia, from China, Japan, South Korea, Thailand, many other places that I'm forgetting because I didn't have any partners from there, those countries. But in any case, all these different countries coming to learn and it was, you know, they would bring their culture and so in this program the native speaker of English would learn more about another culture and that would then help them understand the world better, help them realize you know, that stereotypes and other things that they may have had about these cultures aren't true, that you know, there might be some grain of truth, but that really you know, it's not a good thing to have these stereotypes, that it doesn't do justice to the culture. And so that, that's something that the native speakers got, is an understanding of other cultures, which is very beneficial for them. And in addition to English practice, the English, English language learners were also getting an understanding of American culture. So they were learning you know, about things that maybe they didn't understand. Like, you know, why is it that this is the case? You know, and so they would, I would be asked questions about things and, you know, would have to explain it. Like, why does the news view our country this way was, you know, one. Or, you know, what is going on with this? And so I would have to, I would have to, you know, answer as best I could these questions. And so they were getting an understanding of English. And I remember one year I 
found out about, I can't remember the name of it because names need a lot of repetition in my head to uh, stick, but I learned about a holiday in Saudi Arabia where children dress up, and I learned about this around Halloween from the Saudi partner I had at that time, because I was, you know, asking, do you have a holiday similar to this where, you know, kids dress up in Saudi Arabia? Because I was curious, so I found out, and so it was, it was about, you know, building understanding, and I th really think this program is great because, because of that because of the opportunities to build friendships and cross-cultural cross-cultural understanding. <laughs> so, in any case, the, the program that I assisted with, I guess, in, as a volunteer, has influenced my academic and now work career by confirming that doing this sort of thing, that being involved with a linguistics minor was something I should go for, that being involved with fostering cross-cultural understanding with, you know, having a, having a desire to teach others my language and to learn from them maybe bits of their language and their culture, that that is something which, which I really want to do. So, so my academic career then was influenced by going into linguistics minor at SPU, and then after I graduated, I did a post-baccalaureate intensive program and got a TESOL certificate for teaching English to speakers of other languages. So that's how academics has been influenced. And then as for work, well, uh, you can see there, I've got class rules. And uh, there's, yeah, so you saw the flag, we'll see it better, there's my map, grammar, and up there. So, if you uh, haven't guessed by the uh, flag a student drew and then the actual flag up on the wall, I'm teaching English in South Korea. So, while, you know, ACE isn't the primary reason, you know, the, being involved in the program with ACE isn't the primary reason, that I'm here in South Korea, it's one of the reasons that I've ended up here. Because without that experience, with the language mentor program, now the cultural partner program, without that experience, I wouldn't have realized how much I enjoy this sort of thing and how much I like doing it. So. I can say that, in part, the reason why I have this job is because of being involved in the program. So, yes, this is my thank you. I hope you've uh, enjoyed listening to me ramble on. And now it's time to go and uh, do some grading. <laughs> Anyways, uh, it's good talking again, I haven't in a while, so yeah, and here's just a shout out to the people at the AC Language Institute near Seattle Pacific University, keep doing good work, uh, it was a positive impact on my life, and I'm sure it was has been a positive impact not only on your students, but on the students who have also volunteered for you. So, until I um, find time to video again, and I actually have an actual video camera now, uh, cheers.